Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we are returning for another playthrough of Spirit Island. Yes, Monique and I covered this on the channel about a year ago, last December. And this is a fully cooperative game designed by Eric Roos and published by Greater Than Games. And we are now returning as intermediate spirits mm -hmm. because uh, we were kind of noobs or rookies back then when we played it. And now we're trying to step it up just a little bit and make it a little bit harder and trying out some different things. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> not, not that We're not that much better at the game. Yeah. Uh, and so if you're interested in checking out that first playthrough that we did, we did a full rules teach and we kind of walked you through like a very beginner uh, setup just Scenario. to kind of get you comfortable with how the game works. Mm -hmm. And we'll put a link to that playthrough up there. And so today we are going to skip the rules teach entirely, but we are going to uh, let you know what new things we're going to be adding to this gameplay that yep. makes it more intermediate. And that's going to be things like an adversary and uh, more complex spirits. Yep. But before we begin, we do want to say thank you to our Patreon community because there were a few games that we covered in the past a year and a half or so that we promised to return to. And so we figured we'd uh, put up a poll on our Patreon and uh, let them decide which game to come back to. And this is what they chose. Overwhelmingly was chosen. This mm -hmm. was uh, about a two to one on, on any other margin. So that was uh, pretty impressive. So we are excited to play it. It's a loved game. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoy Spirit Island and would like to see more content regarding this game, we highly recommend checking out Jana's channel over at One Pip Wonder. We will include a link to her YouTube channel down below. She makes videos regarding this game as well as other family-friendly stuff. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, if you do like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe. And with that, we are ready to begin. Mm -hmm. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we are all set up here for our two-player game of Spirit Island with some more complex spirits, Yes, as you can see. But first... Let's talk about some of the changes that we're implementing in order to make this a little bit more of a step up from the previous gameplay that we did. Yes. The first thing is we are now playing with a Blight card. So this is a card that is randomly drawn. And so we don't know what's going to be on the opposite side of this card, but essentially uh, once we remove all four of these Blight tokens from it, the card gets flipped over and we add more Blight to it. And once all those white tokens get removed, we lose the game. Yeah, it's not a good thing. We're no. making it sound like it's a good thing to no, have these not. tokens removed. It's not a good thing. So uh, we're going to try to avoid that happening. But if this ever does get flipped, there's going to be something on the opposite side of this that will happen every turn during mm -hmm. the invader phase that will be very bad. Like yes. Was saying. Yeah. So we don't want to flip this. We're going to try to avoid that. The other thing that we are going to be putting into play that we did not do last time is an adversary card. And so the game comes with a, a few of these. I think like three there's or a, four. Three of them. And these one. just make the game more difficult. Yeah. We are playing uh, against with the kingdom of Bradenburg, Prussia. And so uh, for, for just for your, re your reference, we are doing level two. <laughs> and I guess a level two, uh, you know, gameplay of this is technically like a level four in the general scheme out of 10. Mm, oh, so wow. it makes it kind of like starting to get into the intermediate level. I don't know. But basically at the start of the game, uh, for this specific adversary, we start with one additional town in lands three on both boards, mm -hmm. as well as one of the stage three cards is now going to be placed in between one and two. So it gets a little bit harder uh, faster. Yeah. Instead of having yeah. three number ones, we have two number ones and a number three right after that. Mm -hmm. if that and makes sense. This probably only makes sense for, to people who are very familiar with this game, yeah. but uh, you'll see. We'll, we'll let you know when we'll it run starts into getting it. harder. Yes. Yeah. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. So would you care to introduce your spirit? Okay, so I am the spread of rampant green. Essentially what I'm going to be doing is spreading out across this board uh, pretty rapidly. Uh, we are basically the wooded areas or the trees amongst this entire land. And so we think, I, yeah, I, yeah, it look, looks like it. Uh, <laughs> and so during the growth phase, I will always have the ability to put out a presence token so I can get out onto the board quick. I'm primarily defensive and I do instill a little bit of fear, but I am very, very bad at dealing with the explorers, which are the little guys with the sticks mm -hmm. uh, my special rules are if i am in a um, sacred site i can prevent uh, invaders from either building or ravaging the area by losing or getting rid of one of my presence in that specific area so i also have steady regeneration which essentially says that um, if i want i can place presence out on the board uh, typically when a player loses presence it's out of the game for me it comes back to me into like a side pile and i could always redeploy that i'm going to be playing as the thunder speaker and i'm super excited to play um as the spirit because i work with the dahan and the mm -hmm. dahan you know as you may know are the the natives to this land a lot of my power cards are going to be uh, going hand in hand with the dahan i have to choose a land that the dahan are in but i also have some special rules i'm the ally of the dahan so whenever a Dahan moves from one of my lands to another land, I can move one of my presents along with it. Nice. So that's kind of a way for me to move around the board. Kind of float around. However, I'm also sworn to victory. Mm -hmm. So for every Dahan that's destroyed by invaders ravaging the land, I have to destroy one of my presents that's within one space, one, one land space of it. And so that is not a good thing, uh, which means I am kind of... Uh, 
responsible for protecting the Dahan as mm -hmm. much as I can because I don't want to be wiped off the board either, right? No, no. And I believe that's everything. So no. now we are truly ready to begin. Are yes. you ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, All yeah. right. So let's talk about strategy a little bit here because sure. this is not, you know, going to be an easy, <laughs> an easy play here. We may lose. By the way, totally. So we already did the starting explorer, which was in the mountains. As you can see, we have an explorer in each of the mountain areas. Yeah. Which means, even though we're not going to have a ravage this round, it they are going happen. to build. Yeah. And so the the best opening strategy in my mind is to try to prevent them from building as much as possible, right? That that would be ideal. Yeah. So I'm going to try to uh, to try to handle some of these explorers. I think I might only be able to do one of them, mm -hmm. but that's going to be my goal for this round. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. So starting with the spirit phase, we are going to uh, go into our growth part of. The spirit phase and mm -hmm. we'll just we'll talk through this sure. right mm -hmm. so i'm gonna go ahead and choose uh this section of my growth area and that allows me to gain four energy nice. so now i have some kind of cash yeah, yeah. and uh, i'm gonna place a presence one away from a land that I'm, out, I'm already in so i'm gonna place this presence so that now i can play two cards i'm gonna go right there so i am one away from from that place and that's it for my growth okay sounds good so in my growth i always get to place out one uh presence uh, up to two spaces away where I already have presence in a jungle or wetland. So for me, I'd like to get this uh, token out and I'm going to go one, two away here. I know we talked about me handling some mountain stuff, <laughs> but literally I cannot. It says jungle or wetland. No problem. This is the mountain. So I'm going to go over here and just kind of maybe I can uh, mess around with that. Plus it gets me onto your board over there. Cool. All right. And then now I'm going to take three energy. You can do Okay. And then I'm going to gain a power card. Oh, already? So, yeah, totally. Major gonna, or minor? Uh, minor. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to take <laughs> one, two, three, four. Choose one of the four that I got. You're going to add on. So and as, as you can already tell, we have all of our resources off screen, just mm -hmm. so you have a better shot at the actual uh, board this time, as well as the, the, the power cards. Mm -hmm. And so whenever we gain a new power card, we'll just kind of show it to you and let you know what it does. Yep. All right, so this is the card I received. It is called <laughs> uh, the one of the four that I chose. It's called Call of the Dahan Ways. So it is slow in speed. Nice. And uh, basically what it says is in the top bar here, I can replace one explorer with a Dahan. Remember yes. how earlier on I said I can't do anything uh, with these explorers? Now I can actually do something. That's awesome. With this it, one is card. Slow, it is slow. It is slow. It's a slow uh power it is. but this is great because my spirit's in play so we're really going to help each other here yes you the, can add more yeah Dahan. it does look like though i can only use it in targeted lands that have a Dahan. okay yeah all right all so right. let's move on to gaining energy yep so we're i gain one energy uh, i also gain one energy okay yep. and then uh i can play two cards i'm gonna go ahead and choose my card yeah, i can only play one all right, I'm going to play these two cards. Okay. And when you play cards, we're just going to put them over here and talk through um, our moves. This is going to cost me five energy. Five energy. Spending it all. All right. I'm going to play uh, this Overgrowth in a Night. I can only play one card. It's going to cost me two energy, so I need to get some change. There we go. All right. All right. And that's that. So uh, do you, we both have a fast power each. Yes. So I have this one and you have that one. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure. So I have an and or. So I can either add one presence or if my target land has one of my presents and invaders in it, then I uh, generate three fear for us. So that's why I moved into this one here because there's a city there. So I'm going to say that's my targeted land. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to generate three fear because they are in there. Nice. One, two, and a three. Very cool. Might as well. And that is me. All right. So I'm going to play my Sudden Ambush. This is my fast uh, power. And so this lets me target any land that's within one range of my presence. So I'm going to target this one because it lets me gather one Dahan. So I'm going to gather this Dahan. And each Dahan destroys one Explorer specifically. Nice. So this Dahan is going to uh, destroy this Explorer. Cool. So that way we're not going to have any building going on over there. Sure. And that's it for that power. My other one is slow. Okay. Okay, so then we go into the invaders phase. And uh, we're not ravaging this round, but they are going to build. Yes. So let's look around. We are building a town here. Yeah, and, a and again, we build a town in each of them unless there are more towns than cities, mm -hmm. in which case we'd build a city. But in this case, it's going to be a bunch of towns. Town, town, and, and then one last one over here. One last one over here. And only if there are invaders present, right? Yeah. So this one um, doesn't get built on. Yeah, because you wipe it out. Right. But we do get to explore, <laughs> which yeah, is not a good thing. Not a I don't know thing. why. That's I'm excited about it. Out. And it's going to be in the, the waterlands. The wetlands. The wetlands. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and place an explorer. And it's going to be in the wetland spots that have a uh, building Their in presence, it, essentially. Yeah. Or adjacent to one or mm -hmm. adjacent to an ocean. Because those are the entry points. Oh, yeah. 
It's pretty much gonna be everywhere. Except that. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. No, no, no. That there. Yeah. Uh, here. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Everywhere. <laughs> Definitely everywhere. everywhere. Unfortunately, that's it. So now we go into our slow power. So just me. Just you, yeah. I have the manifestation of power and glory. I have mm. to target a land with the Dahan in it that also has my presence in it. And I, let's us get one fear. We generate one fear. One fear. Okay, we're uh, halfway there. And then each Dahan deals damage equal to the number of my presence. So I'm going to target this land. Nice. And so each Dahan is going to deal one damage each, which means this is going to get knocked out one, completely, this two. town. Well, yep. yeah, it's two, two damage there. And so, every time you knock out a town, you generate one fear. If you knocked out a city, you generate uh, two fear. Right. That's so we're, we're getting some good uh, fear currency going on yeah. a little mm -hmm. bit early. And that's it. Those are, well, actually, I think I have an innate power. Because if I have one of those red claw symbols... Yeah, you have two purple and a red, or what else you got? Yeah, this technically says I can gather up to one Dahan per uh, purple symbol that I have. Okay. And I can push up to one Dahan per yellow. But I have to target one land within a range of one from where I am. Is it going to be worth it to do that? Let's see what's happening next round. Uh, the... They're going to ravage in the mountains. Right. They're going to build in the wetlands. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to mm -hmm. go ahead and do my gather the warriors. So okay. I'm going to I'm going to uh, target this land. Okay. And it's going to let me gather up to two Dahan because I have two purple symbols showing. Yep. And so I'm going to gather both of these. Okay. And I can technically, because of my ally of the Dahan, I can move my presence with it. Um, I don't really have anything that cares about sacred sites, so I wonder mm. if it matters. You know what? I'm going to move with it. Okay. I'm moving. I'm just going to do it because that is because my special rule. <laughs> yeah. And then I can push up to one Dahan. So I'm going to push this Dahan into here. I, like I might have a trick up my sleeve for the next round. Okay. And uh, now that's it. So yeah. we can go ahead and discard our cards. Yep. Any damage that's been dealt, any partial damage would get reset, but uh, we have nothing, none nothing, of that here. So do, yeah. we just begin anew. And so looking ahead, we know that the these mountainous areas are going to ravage. This is not looking good. No. We're gonna get a blight right but, there. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. Um, but I think, I don't have any more energy, so I think I'm gonna choose this option again. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add a presence. Ooh, I'm gonna add I'm going to add this presence so I can always have an air symbol yeah. since I have my innate powers that, re that require them. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be one away. I'm going to just move this way because you have a hard time defeating explorers. I, I do. So I might yeah. as well try to try move to that way. Out. And then again, four energy. So that's me. Okay, so I'm gonna do my always growth. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna create a sacred site and expose one of these plant symbols. Uh, which what sacred site would you rather have, this one or that one? Oh, this one. That one because it protects the Dahan just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Protect cool. the Dahan. So I have at two all there. costs. So I'll, I'll I'll just put them side by side because I think that's yeah. even though it's stacked in like the symbol. It's, it's easier, easier to, to see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be that one, and then uh, I'm gonna do this middle one here, which says I can add a presence up to one away from where I already have presence, and I can play an additional card this turn because normally I can only play one. Okay. But I'll be able to play two, so cool. I'm gonna add another presence. Uh, I'd like to have more energy so I can play some cooler cards. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to create another uh, Sacred Site, because might as well. So nice. they can't build. Cool. So now let's gain our energy. I just gain one uh, I gain more. two, because I have two exposed. And again, it's always the rightmost. You don't get a... It's not additive or anything. Right, right, right. Except the symbols are technically additive if you have multiple symbols showing. Okay. And then we'll play our cards. I only have two cards left in my hand, so I'm just going to play them both. All right. It's only going to cost me uh, one energy. Right there. Not the most strategic plan, but we're going to work with it. All right. And so because I have one card here showing, and then I get to play one additional card this turn for doing this action, mm -hmm. I'm going to put out these two cards. Nice. And it's going to cost just a total of one. So right. Yeah, me some... too. It was a little cheapy, little cheapy round. All right. Okay, perfect. So let's do our fast powers. I have speed. one. Mm -hmm. Speed. <laughs> sure. Um, you want me to go first or you? Uh, go ahead. Or you know what, let me go first because this actually affects you. Uh, okay. It's the gift of proliferation. And essentially says, target spirit uh, adds one presence up to one space away from their current presence. Awesome. So, it has to be a different... And it's another player, and okay. you're the only other player here. Grand. Yeah. I would like more uh, energy, energy income, I guess. So I'm going to put this out one away from where I am. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to start going that way to help you out a little bit more. Sure. So I guess I'll go here because this is like a no-no land right now. And that's okay, it for so that? Yeah, that's this one right here. Cool. So I have one. It's the Words of Warning. And I have to target a land that has the Han in it, one away from where I am. And so I'm going to target this land. It's one away from here. I have a Dahan here. Okay. This lets me defend for three. So I'm going to place this, uh, my little defend reminder token, so that we remember that. And then during the Ravage phase, um, we're gonna, I'm going to deal damage, or everybody here, I guess the Dahan, <laughs> deals damage simultaneously with the invaders. I like it. So we won't get blighted, hopefully, and we can uh, wipe out a, a town. Mm -hmm. So 
that's it for that. That's not all the speed. I actually have this other thing right here. Uh, it's all enveloping green. So basically what it says is it's a uh, innate power. And basically what it says is uh, I have the ability to defend up to a space of one away from where I have a sacred site. So I created a sacred site here and we know that the mountains are going to be ravishing here. Yeah. And that's going to be really bad for this Dahan here. So yes, that would be bad for me. Yeah, for everything. Yeah. So <laughs> I have one, two, three green showing and one blue on this card so i can defend two so Sweet. i will place this token out here to remember that we are going to defend which is oh great gosh. so that dahan's going to be safe thank you nabeen i wasn't even uh, thinking about this if this had gotten destroyed my, my presence would be wiped off the board yeah so, that's nice that's mm -hmm. real nice yep. all right so uh invader face uh we are they are going to ravage unfortunately mm -hmm. we we technically start with like the fear cards and all that we don't have any of that right now not yet so they're going to go straight to ravaging let's start with the worst land right yeah there's nothing we can do about it Absolutely there's no nothing. defense here um these this is gonna get blighted yeah so so one of the four our first blight yeah. of the game yeah uh there's no uh presence here so nobody gets destroyed nope. which is nice mm -hmm. so then let's move on to this one you're defending for how many uh so i'm defending for two okay so they are doing a total damage of three yep. so that's minus two that's one so they just hit the, the han for one perfect and the han boom hits back for, for two. two so we're gonna wipe out this town right Okay. Generates a fear for doing that. One fear. Thank you. Nice. And no blight in that area. That's the best part. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not, there's no invaders here. And so we go here and I'm defending over here for three. Yes. So, and they're only attacking for three. So no damage is dealt, but the Dahan fights back and removes this town. So we generate another fear. Another fear. Ah, we need one more fear. Oh, oh yeah. It's coming. There we go. It's yep. coming. Yep. Uh, that's it. Those are all the ravaging areas. So yep. now we're going to go to building. And unfortunately, uh, a lot of places will build. Well, actually, um, two of them are, I'm, I can prevent them from building. Oh, okay. Because remember, my special rule is I can choke the land with green. So nice. anywhere where I have a sacred site, I can prevent uh, the enemies from either ravaging or building by removing one of my presents there. All right, let's show us how it's So done. I will just, so they would technically build here and here because they yeah. are present, but I am going to take these two presents off and I get to keep these um, and I, I'll probably deploy them later and, in mid or late game yeah nice i yeah. like that mm -hmm. now they are here uh they do have some presence here so oh, they okay. are going to build a town because there's no city present yep and then they are going to be here they're going to also build a town no no, no you you removed a oh presence sorry yes there. i'm sorry it's going to be uh right here yeah. <laughs> don't undo what we've done i know i know okay so those are all the areas and let's explore shall we yeah so this goes out so that, yeah that, that all slides down we're exploring in the what is it sand Sand dunes. Sand dunes. <laughs> sand dunes. So, unfortunately, that's pretty much everywhere. Yeah. So we're going to get an explorer there because it's adjacent to some buildings. We get one there. Too bad um, you left that area, huh? I know. Mm. But it, what was I thinking? I don't know. Well, we didn't know. We didn't know what was coming next. So one here and yes, yeah. one here as <laughs> one well. There, yep. Everywhere, Everywhere, essentially. Yeah. And uh, part of this adversary that we're playing with is we had to sneak in one of the level three yeah, uh, card, there it is. Yeah, invader it's gonna be cards. Bad. So this is gonna be bad because the level three ones have like a more than one land type on them. It it's gonna be real yeah, bad, yeah. as we'll see next round. Yeah. But for now, that's it for the invader phase. Uh, let's do our slow powers. Okay. And I, so, I have a couple slow powers. Yeah, okay. Then I'll, I'll, let me just go first sure. because I have this voice of thunder. Okay. So this just lets me uh, target any land that's one away from a presence, and. It'll let me either push up to four Dahan, or if invaders are present, I just generate two fear. Mm. I don't know strategically uh, what to push, and we really do need fear. So yeah. I'm just going to generate fear. I guess I have to target a land, though, right? Any land. Okay, really? this one. Okay, sure. Invaders. Okay, so can we generate two fear, <laughs> Okay, so one down. Yep. And then we would technically clear <laughs> off. Dancing hand. Yeah, and then one back in, right? And yeah. then because we did that, we generated a fear, so we get a earned fear card here. And we we'll get to reveal it later. Look at that. I'm always oh, so enticed in the moment. No, no, don't reveal okay, it. Okay, yeah, I was like, yeah. no, we don't get it now. That's right? face down. Yeah. It's enticing me right now, but we we got to look at it next yeah. next round. Yep, yep, yep. And that's that's this card. Is that now. everything? Do you have anything slow? You know what? I think I have an, in, an innate power. I'm really bad at keeping track of my innate powers. Sure. Um, I do have the red claw again. So that's pretty much something I'm. I might always be able to how many, play. How many purple do you have total? Exposed? I only have three. three. One, okay. two, three. And that one requires four. Correct. Okay. So they both require four. So I get to do the thing that I did last last round. What was it? Where in? I can gather up to one Dahan per purple I have showing. So mm. I can choose a land, and gather up to three Dahan and push up to two. So it's a nice way for me to to bring in and then push to another area. Yeah. Yeah. So. Next round, we're the uh, wetlands are going to ravage. They are, and 
I mean, I, I could potentially do exactly what I did. So you know how I always, my growth is always wetlands and jungles. You can always so make I can do sites. boom, boom, just do it again and literally do this, this middle action again. It would be nice to kind of look ahead and remove these explorers where we can so that they don't build. Again, I can't right? do that unless I play that one card that says right. convert it into a Dahan. But, but I guess it, I'm saying it would be nice for me to focus on, for me to focus on You to on focus that. on it, yeah. And so if you can just prevent these from ravaging, then we don't have to worry about them unless this is obviously something really bad. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and talk target this land mm -hmm. and I'm going to gather both of these. I'm just going to have them leave the area and I'm going to push one. I guess I'll push one into here maybe okay. and move with it. Okay. So I have my presence kind of moving around the board. Yeah. I don't know how strategic that is yet. Um, like I said, we're not super advanced mm -hmm. at <laughs> this game, no. but we'll see. All I know is this area is ravaging and I'm going to reclaim my hand next round Yes. so that I have that one card that lets me um, hit the invaders for the strength of however, however many uh, presents I have here. So I can hit that for two. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's it. I'm, I'm completely done. Go okay, ahead. cool. So I have a couple slow things here. So I have... Um, Creepers tear into mortar. <laughs> okay. Sounds painful. Yeah. So uh, basically, it says uh, with a range of zero. So I'm going to be targeting uh, this land here. Okay. It says if I have two green and one crescent showing, which I do, one, two, and one, uh, then I can do one damage to either a town or a city. So let's go ahead and just uh, damage this town. Okay. Okay. And then I have this one here. It says the stem. I'm sorry. It says stem <laughs> the flow of fresh water. It's also Decent. slow. And um, and you know what? Uh, this one requires a sacred site to oh, use. No. And I undid my sacred sites by protecting the land from building uh, or ravaging or rebuilding. Yeah. Well, what can you do? Yeah, that was bad. I needed these that symbols, though, to do what I needed to do. So I had to play that card. Hopefully that wasn't a fatal error, Naveen. <laughs> yeah, that I'm was kidding. pretty bad. Dang it. Oh, well, so that's it, right? That's no it, more, yeah. No more slow powers? Yeah. Okay, so let's take these back. And Shoot. unfortunately, that one damage that you did to that town yeah, gets reset. Yeah, I know. But Dang our it. friends, the Dahan, they our will lives. heal as well. Yep. And these cards get discarded. We will start anew. Please get discarded. So okay. I have no more cards in my hand. I only have one option for this growth phase. We're going to go straight into it. Reclaim. And I'm going to go and choose this one. I'm reclaiming my cards, and I get to gain two power cards. Okay, yep. And, ooh, am I ready to go into the... Oh, I never know power? when to start getting a major power. Maybe you do one minor, one major? Hey, that's true. I, I don't. I can, I can decide them one at a time. Yeah, I would so start with the minor, maybe? I'll, I'll go ahead and take a... Can, can you pass me four minor cards, please? Minor, okay. One, I'm gonna try two, my three, hand. Four. Come on, find at a minor power. symbols you need. All right, I'm going to uh, take this one. Okay. This is go. the the drift drift down into slumber. So this is going to be a fast power card that lets me defend defend for one. And if the target land is either the jungle or the sand, then I can defend for four. Wow, and, it, and the range so, is up to two away. Yeah, it's nice because I'm not really a defensive spirit. Uh -huh. I'm an offensive one, so this gives me some some wiggle room and that's only you right that's not only you can use that card correct it's not, like, okay. it's not it doesn't allow me to target another spirit okay and but i do get another card so yeah. ooh. did you want to do another mi miners are kind of nice they just give miners you are nice that way you don't have on. to reclaim you know yeah I, I do need a bigger deck let's do another minor deck. power card yeah, yeah. because sometimes you don't want to spend a whole action reclaiming right i will have to reclaim cards again at that point then i will choose a major power card yeah Okay, for my second power card, I'm taking Veil the Knight's Hunt. This okay. is nice because it has to do with the Dahan. The target land has to be Dahan. And it says each Dahan deals one damage to a different invader. Oh, nice. So that's a nice like setup before the invader phase. And what symbols are on there? Purple and red, yeah. which is exactly what you're it's looking for. It's two of them that I need. So I, I, it's, it's a yeah, good it's one. Yeah, it's a good card. It's a good yeah. one for me. Yeah. Okay, so uh, my growth phase, we are going to be doing... I'm going to basically do what I did last time to set up protection of against the Wetland Ravage. So I'm going to put out one into this section. Okay. And I'm going to take this center one here which allows me to do another one which is going to expose that second plant symbol nice and i'll put it out there i like it okay and then this basically says uh i could play one card here plus <laughs> one on this okay. so i can play these two cards my last two cards that are in my hand well let's gain some energy so i'm gonna gain two uh i gain two as well and then i can okay, play three, two, two cards so i have a lot of options here <laughs> now that i reclaimed my hand and gained more i already know i'm just gonna play these two cards okay so there we go and it costs you... It costs me just one. Just one. Just one. Two nice. And I want to play these two cards. Okay. I'm kind of excited about it. Nice. So it's going to cost me four. Four. Okay. Four energy. So there's that. And that's it. Nice. Okay. So I do have... Uh, let's see. This one's fast. Yeah. I have the this one fast thing. But if you want to go ahead and go first. Sure. Okay. 
Uh, so this is the one, the, the words of warning. So I can defend for three. It's one that I played earlier. Mm -hmm. And now I'm trying to remember where I wanted to do that. <laughs> Was it in the... Um, oh, I think it's here. The blue, yeah. Because this is because wetlands are ravaging, right? Yeah, totally. Okay. So I'm going to place my uh, my reminder token here to let us know that we're, I'm defending for three. Yep. And then when this ravages, they're going to um, deal damage simultaneously. Nice. So I will be able to wipe out... The entire thing. The entire thing, the actually. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. So that is this card, and I don't have anything else that's fast. Okay, my two cards are slow, so my only thing I have is the all-enveloping green, the one I did before. Mm -hmm. uh, and because I have one green, two green showing here, and at least one blue, so I can do that. I really want to get another green in the future, because <laughs> then instead of defending for two, I can defend for four in wow, the future. Wow, sweet. So I'm going to go relative to a sacred site, so I set up a sacred site here, and I'm going to defend this one for two, just like I did nice. in the mountain on the previous turn. Just gonna do the exact same thing, but now in this wetland over here. I like it. So I think all the wetlands are technically safe um, from being ravaged. That would that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I am so afraid of what's I, to come. Yeah. In that invader it's card. Just surviving around the round, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it for our fast cards. Yes. All right. So we have our first fear card. Yeah, shall we? Yes. You're better reading than I am. Oh, so okay. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Retreat. All right. So we are still at Terra level one. So yeah. we're gonna do this. It says each player may push up to two uh, explorers from an inland land. So it cannot Ooh. be it cannot be a coastal land. It cannot be a land that is um, adjacent to an ocean, I believe. So you choose one land, essentially, and you can push up to two explorers out of it. So ideally, you want to push out the ones that... The uh, single people, yeah, the, the, the one they're going to build. Specifically the sand areas, because they're going to build. So I inf nobody can influence this one, because nobody can push because nobody has presence where they are. You know, it doesn't say you have to have presence. Oh, okay. It just says from an inland land. Yeah, because fear ju fear is is affecting the invaders as a whole. Globally. It's not something that the spirits are, are actually actively okay. doing. Yep. So I don't think we have to have presence there. Right. So I think that we should we leave this. want to clear out the sand areas. I've got that some one, plans there. Yeah. And you know what? This wasn't even legal anyway, because the land cannot be adjacent to an ocean. Ocean, yeah. I'm going to push this, this explorer, into um, this area here, because... Uh, with both of these, the Han there, mm -hmm. I'll be able to wipe this one out as well. Cool. So I did my push, Naveen. Yeah, because you can push up to two from one land, from what I understand, right? You can't oh, do two separate ones. Right, up to two. There's no area that has more than one. Yeah. Where would you uh, like to push? So I'm thinking, because I'm going to end up uh, defending this one, should I just push this one here? Because um, we have not seen a jungle, so I don't want to put it into the jungle. Right. Okay, and so I'm just going to push them here. Okay. Where I am. Cool. So yeah. that is, that's it for the fear. That's it. That's it for the fear card. Yep. Okay. So uh, they're going to ravage now in the wetlands. So would you care to sure. do, your, do so your thing? I'm going to do the uh, choke the land with the green or with green. And so, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm going to remove a presence here. So they are not going to ravage here as well as here, which is uh, an innate power. That is so nice. Yeah. And then remember, I can always redeploy this once I basically, I can do it at any time, but it's in my best interest to get these off first and then in the future right. deploy these. This is a great spirit for defense. Yeah. That is such a nice power. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I guess we'll go with this one next. Sure. I have my token here because we are defending for three. So it's a total of two, three, four, minus three. So only one damage that the Dahan will absorb. But I think um, actually we deal damage at the same time. Yep. So the uh, cumulative, the total Dahan attack strength is yeah. going to be four, which wipes, wipes out all one, of these two, invaders. Three, four. Generating one fear because the town is bye-bye. Yes. Cool. Ah, the Dahan are awesome. Okay. We have this one also here. So because I have a two defense from that reminder token mm -hmm. that we have, so it's one, two. So they're going to attack for three. It's a minus one. So only one. This yep. Dahan flips over. It attacks back for two. Yes. So this one goes out. Ah, oh, so and nice. And then we have another fear. That we is... We need to keep that fear going. Satisfying. Mm -hmm. So that's that's it for ravaging. That's right. So then now they're going to build in the sand areas. They do not build here or here, thanks no. to that fear card. They will build here, so mm -hmm. like one town. Okay. And they will build a city, our first city to be built. Mm -hmm. We'll go okay. right here, but that's okay because we you have, have plans. Up your sleeve, yeah. And then we're going to look at the thing that I've been fearing so much. Let's go ahead and move these down. Oh yeah, we're yeah. yeah. Explore in a level three invader card. What is it? Oh <gasps> no. Wow, this is my greatest fear. <laughs> is this a great fear? Is this it? It's the two the two areas. Well, actually, it's this way. It's the mountains. It's the two oh, areas oh, yeah, that we we <laughs> thought we were kind of in the clear with. They're back. Core, I guess. So this is going to be uh, mm. exploring in both of those areas. Ah, that's awful. So all the. Uh... 
I'm just going to get a bunch of explorers into my hand right now. Pretty much everywhere, right? So it's mountain areas. Definitely here. Shoot, 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 shoot. We've shoot. got one there. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. We're going to go here. Oh, we get an explorer everywhere. right there. Here. Oh, if only we wiped that out, then those yeah. two would not have not um, gotten an explorer. No, this, this one would because this is attached to there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I guess it's just only that one. This, yeah, that that land. Well, Whew. we've got explorers everywhere. We're surrounded. <laughs> ah. so, well, at least the invader phase is done. So let's go into our slow powers. And uh, do you mind if I go first? Sure, go ahead. I just don't want to forget what I wanted to do. Yeah, do you? So thing. manifestation of power and glory. Uh, this is going to allow me to target a place that I'm in that has the haunts. I'm targeting this land. Yep. We generate one fear. Okay, cool. Just right away. And then. You know what? Hold on. Wait, let's, let's undo that okay. because we might be able to make this a little bit more powerful. Cool. I'm going to activate my innate power first. Mm -hmm. And so I still can only activate this one, gather the warriors um, with the one red claw that I've been doing. Okay. So I can gather, I can choose a land and gather up to, let's see, one, two, three Dahan and push up to two. Okay. So then with this innate power, I'm going to target uh, this land. Okay. And I'm going to gather, I can gather up to three Dahan. So you know what? I'm just, I'm technically, I'm just going to gather all three of these. Just so I can pull in. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of Dahan. Just so I can pull in both of my presents. Okay. Because, wow. um, and again, the reason why I can bring my presents with me is because I am the ally <laughs> of the Dahan. And I can push up to two. Dahan, I'm going to push one one Dahan back into here. Like it? Just because they, they are going to ravage next round. Okay. So they can at least fight back. Do you feel like you can that Dahan will be protected in, with the card play? I have a card uh, in my hand that I could play next round that'll okay. help. Okay, cool. So now with this, because I did this, this is going to be really awesome. Uh, do you have anything that can get more stuff totally. into this land? Yeah, so I played uh, Fields Choked with Growth, and basically it's a slow one, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... Uh, a range of one away from where I am, and I can target any land, and essentially yep. I can push one town. So uh, here I am. Yep. My range is one away, and okay. I'm going to push this one town in with you. Perfect, so you because because we're going to do a lot of damage right now. Yes. So you you undid the fear, right? Uh, which one? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So the manifestation of power and glory. I'm targeting this land. We generate one fear. Okay. Please. Now it says each Dahan deals damage equal to the number of my presence in that land. I have three presence and four Dahan. So they're going to do 12 damage. Mm. They're actually going to wipe out all of these invaders because this is three, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. So that, that generates four fear. Eight, nine. So that's all of these. And we are going to get two, three, four fear. One, two, three, and four. Wow, okay. That, that so far. So we just generated a new fear card, by the, the way. The most satisfying. Yeah. Solid. <laughs> Okay, great. Way to use that power. Gosh, that's this good. is a great spirit. The that's Thunder a, Speaker. That's good, yeah. Okay. Well, we generated a new fear card. That's that's fantastic. Going yeah, into the, fantastic. Next, uh, the next thing. Well, that so is that everything was, that, that I can card. do. I'm done, done. I have this one right here, which is, uh, it's Call of the Dahan Waves. This is kind of like a card that you would expect to have. Right. And basically what it says is uh, one range away. Uh -huh. uh, I can target a land that has Dahan, and I can replace one explorer with uh, Dahan. Nice. So um, what... Where are you targeting? Would you like me to turn this into a Dahan, or would you like me to turn this one into a Dahan? I plan on playing a card next round that will allow us to defend for four here. So you're good. So, so maybe I shouldn't do anything. We don't yet. really have to worry about it there, because okay. this... Uh, I mean... Hmm. Well, if I put a Dahan here, we know because of this double one, then we'll have two Dahan here to just one explorer. They're going to build there, and then they'll fight back. They'll do all that stuff. I wonder if you should do it here so that we can just wipe out all the invaders. Mm. So that way they won't build. They will ravage, though, right? But you'll you'll protect against the ravage? Yeah, they're going to protect. Because I have a, I'm have going to play a card that lets you defend for four. Okay. So right now, two, three, four. If you add one more explorer, or you replace an explorer. I, I'd, I'd replace, yeah. One yeah, out, one in. You like that? Yeah. Okay, let's so do it. So we can just wipe that whole so, land clean. So one away from he. Yep. Uh, because there's a Dahan here. This goes out, and then uh, we replace it with a Dahan. This is awesome, because we have more more Dahan onto the board than we started. All right, and that's this card. And then technically I have this ability, but it won't do any damage enough, enough damage to take out a town. All right. All right. And that is the end of that round. Mm -hmm. So moving on, uh, at least we got past that, that level three invader card yeah our next surprise because of this adversary is these uh level two invaders are going to have these uh cat these little 
castle symbols. I don't remember what they're called now. They're like these little building types. Yeah. Of, we'll most likely see one. So Yeah, they're all, all on the level two cards. They're on all yeah. of them. So we're going to do something bad, as you'll see. But let's go ahead and start with our spirit phase. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose this middle one this time for my growth. Say? This lets me add two presents, mm. but they have to both be in an area... In a land with a Dahan. Okay. So the first one has to be up to two spaces, up to two lands away. The other one can be it has to be up to one away. Okay. So I'm going to take them both from this bottom area. So I now I can play three cards, cards yeah. which will hopefully allow me to do the four um, purple innate yeah, power thing. Yeah, you need energy, but that'll be a later thing. Yes. Well, I'm going to get two more. I, my cards are low energy right now, so it's going to be it's yeah. going to be fine. It's unfortunate that I can't go there. I would like to start pushing that Dahan closer here because they're not really the, these Dahan are like so unaffected by what's going on. <laughs> they're still living their life. Interesting. You well, know? I think you can do it because this says up to two away. You're here, so it's yep. one two, right? You go the long way. Ah, so. should I go there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. And then the other one has to be one away. Um, I guess I just go here so that I'm still closer to these areas over yep. here. Yep. So. Okay. So for me, uh, I'm going to do my always growth. I'm going to I'm going to start taking from here. Three is nice, but I think I need to start playing more cards. Yeah, you it, definitely naturally. do. So um, let's go ahead and where should I put this out? Okay. So I'm going to create a sacred site here in this jungle, not only because it's blighted. So just in case we haven't seen a jungle card. So I feel like that's going to happen soon. Uh, but also eventually uh, this is going to be a problem. It's already mm -hmm. blighted and I'd like to potentially defend using my all enveloping green right. against that one right there. So I think that that's what I'm going to go with. I like it. Okay. So what I'm, I, I have no cards left. I played all my cards. So I'm going to reclaim and then I'm going to gain one power card. I think it's, I think I'm going to stick with the minor. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not I, time yet. I, because I still haven't stacked up enough symbols. Uh, so I think I want to do that. One, two, three, four. Because if That's not, I'm, fair. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of stuff. You do need to build a deck. I do. Oh, An wow. arsenal of sorts, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, of these four cards, I'm going to choose this one. It's called a Rain of Blood. And it, mm. uh, the symbols kind of match. I need blue to do this all enveloping green and make it better. Uh, essentially what it says is wherever I have a sacred site one range away, it instills uh, two fear. Mm -hmm. I can generate two fear. And if the targeted land has at least two buildings, then again, another fear for us. So nice. that's good because we want to get these fear cards going because right. it uh, causes them problems and it helps us you, with our win condition. You do have to remember to leave sacred sites as sacred sites, though, in order to use this card. Uh, that yeah. is the one thing. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So I gained two energy. Same. Which is nice because I only had two left. Okay, this is bad. Yeah. I only get to play one card. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so my next my next couple, I'm going to start to get these presents off so I can play more cards. Okay. Because it's not good. I can play three and see. Oh. Let's just take a look at the board. So the sand areas are going to ravage. So not here. That we don't really have to worry about or here. So it's really just here. It's Okay, so I've played that one card that yeah, I you promised. you said for me to do that. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, please do that. And then we just have to, oh, if we can try to remove these explorers, that would be great that you, they don't build. You know me, I, I don't have the ability I to really know. do that. I know, talking to myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to play these three cards. All right, I'm just going to play that one card I just earned. Cost me a grand total of two energy. Okay. And you, oh, uh, yours is nothing, free. free. Nice, okay. So I have two, two fast powers, and I believe I finally have one, um, I have four Purple. Four purple. Nice. So I can do this one fast. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't okay. know if that's going to really matter. Well, the power made it might. fast. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is the power that's going to yeah have the red okay. symbol. So I can gather up to four and push one. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to activate this one first. Okay. And the reason why this is now fast, because this is supposed to be a slow power, is because with four purple symbols, this power may be fast. fast yeah. Go for so it. I'm going to gather, I'm going to target um, this land. Okay. And I'm going to gather, because there's so much going on over here. Sure. And even though I can gather up to four, it would be nice to leave some Dahan this way. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll gather three or two. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I, I, I have, okay, there's yeah. one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. I'll gather two. Okay. I'm going to gather two Dahan into here, and I'm going to bring... Um, One of your presents. I'm going to bring two, two presents? of my presents. Okay. Maybe, yeah. I'll bring two, and then I can push. I'm going to push one, and I, I will push nice. this there so that... I can start moving this way. Yeah, we haven't seen a wetland in a while, so maybe one will come. So, yeah. yeah. And the reason why I want to do that is because the sand area is going to ravage. Mm -hmm. So this is this person's going to be gonna wiped out before it. they can build. Yep. Right? Okay, so that's this. And then now I have these two cards that are fast. My drift down into slumber. I'm going to target uh, this land. 
Okay. Because I can, because I'm there, yep. so it's fine. It says if the target land is a sand area, which it is, I can defend for four. Nice. So I'm going to place this here. So this is going to prevent um, this land from getting ravaged nice. or from getting blighted. And they're going to hit back. And then back. they're going to hit back. Boom. So that's this card. And then I have my sudden ambush. So I can choose a land and gather one Dahan. I'm going to choose this land because okay. it's one away from where I have a presence. So that's fine. Okay. I can gather one. So I will. I'm going to, you know, nothing's going on in the jungle. I'm going to gather this Dahan as well as a presence. Okay. Or should I leave that there? You know, no, it's fine. Who cares? And it each... says each Dahan destroys one. So did you want to bring both in and then destroy all of them? I can only gather one. Oh, gather there, one. There's okay. already two in there. Oh, each Dahan there was present one. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, each Dahan destroys and explores. So these go out. So they won't be building there. They won't be building. You know what? I'm going to leave my presence yeah. here. Yeah, no need. Because there's no need, really. Mm -hmm. And that's this this card. So I'm done with all of my fast powers. I got no fast powers. So, oh, okay. Yeah, we can... So we go straight Even to faster. invading. Yeah. We do have a fear card. We do. So we get to do that first. That's all always right. exciting. All right. We are in terror level one. Yes. Avoid the Dahan. Oh. Okay. So invaders do not explore into lands with at least two Dahan. Oh. That's a waste. <laughs> Seems kind of wasty. That is a waste. Well, no, because if... Oh, explore. Explore, explore yeah. Explore, yeah, that's yeah. right. We don't know what's going to happen. Because if, if jungle comes up, we're good. If, if mountain comes up, sand, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Let's leave this here. Essentially, wetlands is... We're, we're hoping not to draw wetlands. Because right. then it, there's no two to hunt in any wetlands. <laughs> Let's just leave this here for now so that we remember when it gets sure. to exploring. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Uh, now they are going to ravage. So... This it hits this, one. It only hits for one, so nothing happens. Nobody's here. Um, this uh, explorer hits the Dahan for one. The Dahan hits back. Right. So the explorer is gone. Perfect. And then over here, we're defending. So I'm you defending defend four, for right? four. So this is a total of three. three. So nothing happens. And then they hit back and they remove them both. Right? Yep. So one. So that's one fear. Fear generated. For the town. Okay. And I believe that's all. Those are all the sand That's areas. the ravage, yep. Okay. So now they build. Uh, let's go with the sand first, because three out of four sand areas have no invaders. Mm -hmm. So they are going to build their town. Okay. One town. And in the mountain areas, there's nobody there. These two places yeah. Yeah, will to build towns. That town is not damaged okay. yet. And then a town here, because there's one city. Right. I'm glad that you pushed the town out, because or else this would have built a city. Yeah. Which would have been really a lot of unfortunate. Work. Yeah. And now let's see uh, where we... Oh, gosh. Okay. So these it needs are to not ones. be a wetland, and it, I don't want to see that building symbol. We're going to have an escalation. Uh, that's an adversary thing, as you'll see. Yeah. So let's go ahead and draw this. And then, oh, Dexter is stretching it up. or something. Okay. So let's get moved down. And it is... Jungle. Jungle. Jungle's okay, because they're not going to explore here. Okay. Based off uh, of our... Uh... The first thing is the flag symbols. This is yeah. what I was kind of referring to earlier. And these, um, you only activate those if you have an adversary in play, yep. which we do. And so for our adversary, the Kingdom of Bradenburg, Prussia, um, it says there's a land rush. So on each board, on each board with a town or a city, add one town to a land without one. So just one land. Just uh, pick a land. It's going to be both. We're going to put one town on each board. Okay. So... Where, what, what do you think, Naveen? Well, uh, so this is going to be ravaging next. Mm -hmm. So I think we don't want to cause us any problems. Unless we know we can do a hit back. You know, you have Dahan here. And they're going to be able to hit back. Yeah. You might as well put it there. Let's do it. And then one has to go on this board. Why don't we just go here? This is the only kind of uh, type of land that's not at risk right that's now. That's not at risk. Okay. Yeah? yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. So now that we've done our escalation... We are going to explore, or they are going to explore in the jungle areas. Yes. However, they do not explore into lands with at least two Dahan. So they will not be going in here. Nope, but they will go there uh, because there's a building next to it. They'll go here. It's next to an ocean, and they will yeah. go there. So mm. that's that, and now the fear card is done. All a right. Lot more fear to be generated here. Oh, boy. Well, at least the invader phase is done, mm -hmm. and we do have some slow powers. Yeah. So I just have this one. The uh, voice yeah. of thunder. I can push up to four Dahan, or I can generate two fear. What do you prefer? Well, I'm going to generate three fear, so I think... Uh, Let's just do just fear. Just fear generation. Do a bunch of fear, okay. I guess technically you have to target a land. I'm going to target that one. Okay. There are invaders present, so let's generate two fear. Two fear. That's okay, I'm going to play that Reign of Blood card. Uh, it's 
up to one away from my sacred site, so it's here, and then okay. it says I'm going to target this land where there's invaders. Uh -huh. uh, it's two fear, plus if the target land has at least two buildings, then it's an additional fear. Perfect. So because they built here, yeah. uh, then there's two there, so it's going to be one, two, and three. Okay, two more, Naveen. Yeah. Two more fear, yeah. generate a fear card. We need to generate more fear cards so that we can... We need to speedily generate fear because they're going to go into their ravage phase, but if we can generate the fear in the speed section... We need to generate as much fear as possible because yeah. we... Uh, it's coming. They are going through their invader deck faster than we're going through the terror deck, and we really need to increase our terror level so that we in can order to win, win the game. Yeah. We're just kind of waiting, you know, through water right now. We're, we're, we're one away, though, I think, because uh, after this card, we'll be in level two. Okay. Terror level two, so... All right, yep. so let's discard. Discard. Woo! Okay. Uh, take back our... I need to be able to play more cards, tokens. which uh, is... Yeah, which I feel I'm like... Gonna... I'm going to do it like now. We should have... No, no, I'm, it's fine. It. I'm, I'm going to do it now. Okay. It'll be let's okay. heal some people, shall we? Do we have any others? That's it. So we're moving into the next into the next round here. Okay. Um, Spirit I'm phase. Feeling good, but also a little bit weary. Mm -hmm. And I only have one card left in my hand, so I have to reclaim my cards. Are you and I gain major or minor? two power cards. Let me gain a... Let's see, I have, I have six cards in my hand. Let me gain one minor card, yeah, and, and then, then after that, I'll gain a major card. Sure. So... Good luck. Thank you. I'm excited. This is yeah. the exciting part. <laughs> All right, so my minor power card is Nature's Resilience. Okay. This, I have to have a sacred site. Oh, that sounds like my thing. kind of card. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't really yeah. been building sacred sites, mm -hmm. so I would need to focus on that. Um, but it's a fast... Uh, power lets me defend for six. Ooh, and okay. I have if I have two of these blue symbols, which I guarantee you I won't, because uh, that's not one of the symbols really that are the elements that I'm working towards. collecting. You may instead then, remove light. I know. Oh, wow. This would be so nice for if me. it were yours. That's why it's called nature's resilience. I'm the nature uh, card. <laughs> I may end up replacing this with the, the with major, major power card. So you want to do the major? Let's see. Yes, please. Okay, good luck. Okay. Come Thank on, you. do something good. <laughs> hmm. Something that's the symbols work. They're so expensive, major power cards. Yeah. All right, for my major power, I am choosing the Entwined Power. Since this is a two-player game, after all, we are working Perfect. together. So this is a fast card. I have to target another spirit, so it'll always be Naveen. Me. And it says you and the target spirit may use each other's uh, presence. Oh, that's perfect. To target powers. So when I'm, we play I'm, yeah. cards and we need to target powers, you can use my nice. presence. And I'm going to be so. putting presence out. Right. Yeah. And the target spirit gains a power card. So this will oh, allow cool. you to gain a power card. And I gain one of the power cards that you did not keep. So, so this... of the four, two of them are going to be in play. Yeah. Wow, that's good. And there's some extra stuff down here, but I'm not going to be able to activate it because I don't have those symbols. If um, you happen to in the future. If I happen to, it lets, each, it lets each of us gain three energy, and we can gift the other one power from our hand. Wow, that is <laughs> such a nice okay. card. Unfortunately, uh, I won't be able to do Lots that. text on that one. Huh? And I'm replacing Veil the Knight's Hunt. I've never used it. It just lets each Dahan deal one damage to a different invader. Maybe I did, actually. But either way, it's going out. Okay. I this had to is get one of your of starting ones. Oh, it's a minor power. It's yeah. a minor power, yeah. Okay. No problem. So that's me. Okay. What are you so doing? Uh, I think I'm going to do the one right here because it'll allow me to play three cards. So uh, I get to put out a presence. So yep. let's go ahead and put this one out uh, jungle or a water. All right. So I'm going to put my first one out here, the free one. And then I'm going to do this uh, middle one that I've been doing. Uh, and I'm going to place another presence. I'm going to create a sacred site. Right in that jungle there. Nice. Uh, and then now it's going to allow me to play an additional card. So now I can play two, three cards on this Sweet. turn. Sweet. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. They're, they're clearing off. I'm assuming you're, you're doing this to prevent them from building. Yes. Right? Yeah, okay. exactly. Great. Okay. So let's get our energy. Okay. So, so I gain uh, two. two from me. I have a good amount of money here. And um, I get to play three cards. Oh, yeah. So, Same. so I'm going to play these three cards here. Okay. Got a couple speeds. And so it's going to cost two, three, so I have a three. Okay. Cool. I'm going to play these three, because I can play three cards as well. And now our cards are starting to mix. Yeah, a that's good. Bit. This is a good problem. So three. Oh, I meant physically. <laughs> that's a good problem. That means we're playing a lot of cards out there. Okay, yeah. I like it. I yeah. like it. Positivity. Okay, so, so. Uh, I, I have two speed, and one of which is going to be targeting uh, you, another player. And that target spirit adds one presence up to one away from their uh, presence. Wow. So that go ahead is... and do it. That is like, seren is that serendipitous? Is that the right word? Because mm. I was about to tell you that I'm playing this card here that requires me to have a sacred site. And so we probably should have talked through this first, mm. but uh, the areas that are ravaging are this bad, <laughs> bad, bad area. Bad area. Um, and then just these two, you know, I, that's going to be, that's just going to, we're going to get just, a lot of blight. The east is hard to get to. Our island might turn into unhealthy soon, which means you should start putting these out or else that's going to cost you. Uh, yeah. When it becomes unhealthy. So we're going to... Yep. We're going to think that it's not going to happen, but um, 
What are you going to do? Right. So we're going to do this first? Uh, it's this one right here. So target spirit, you oh. <laughs> add one presence uh, up to one away. Okay. So. I'm going to choose this one because this will allow me to reclaim a discarded card. Cool. Once per round. That's nice. I'm assuming that's what that means. Yeah, totally. So I need to put this out uh, probably here mm -hmm. because... I'm playing this card that's going to defend for six here. It's going to be one away from a sacred site. Yeah, so you can create a sacred site uh, here or here, really. I'll do it here. Yeah, in the jungles. So I can spread out a little bit more that way, I guess. Uh, cool. And let's just do this now then. So this is a fast this is a fast power. Nice. So it's Now going... that you have a sacred site. Yes. I can defend for six. So I'm going to defend here for six. And if I had two blue powers, I could remove a blight. I don't have, I mean, elements. I don't have a second blue element so anyway that's that one these are all fast so should i just do them all now yeah 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 go ahead okay uh my drift down into slumber i'm going to target this land because it's going to defend for four mm -hmm. and because it is a sand area and that's pretty much all that does we're doing a lot of defending this mm -hmm. round and my sudden ambush i can gather one dahan and each dahan destroys so the only reason why I would want to destroy explorers is to prevent prevent them from building. Yeah. And well, so you have jungles, sacred yeah. sites in either, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, right? I'd like to preserve those sacred sites if possible. That would be, that would be great. Okay. Um, Which one would you like to preserve more? So this is going away. Uh, it's hard to say because wetlands could easily become the next problem. Okay. Well, go I'm ahead, just gonna go into here do. then. I'm gonna gather one Dahan okay. into there, and then they each technically destroy an explorer, which is one. Mm. So. That's it. That was the <laughs> the sudden ambush of the one explorer. Okay. Any more speed for you? No. No. Okay. So I have this one, the all enveloping green. So I have one, two, three, four blue, uh, green, and only one blue. I wish I had a second blue uh, because then I could defend for four. Well, I'm you gonna, could combine our elements, I know. right? But I'm going to defend for two uh, relative to this sacred site going into here. So now this will not be a problem for us. Sweet. That's good. Uh, okay. The other fast I have is I can either add one presence or uh, I can select a target land, and if it has one of my presence, then we generate uh, three fear. So what are you going to do? I'm going to generate three fear. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay, so uh, Overgrown in a night. I'm going to say uh, this land, because there's invaders there. So sure. we're going to generate one, two. We generate a fear card, which yes. is great. And now we're at ter terror level two. This is fantastic. And fantastic. this is going into the invader phase. I like it. So that's one, two. All resets, three. There nice. we go. Boom. Good job. Yeah, so now our new victory condition is just getting rid of all buildings. We don't have to worry about the actual explorers. Yeah. So They are a nuisance. They are however, a nuisance. We do yeah. not have to get rid of them. Yeah, so is that everything? was uh, this card, and then, yeah, I did that one right there. Yep. Okay, so invader phase, let's start with that beautiful, that sweet, sweet. All right, so now terror level card. two. Okay, so it says, belief takes root. Defend two in all lands with a presence. Each spirit gains one energy per sacred site they have in lands with invaders. <gasps> Ooh. Wow, that's great. I only have one sacred site. So it I has have... an invader. Oh, Good thing we left this. Yeah, well, you took this one out, so I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Ah. Uh, no, but but at least, <laughs> at least it it's just for energy. Okay, fine. I gain one energy. <laughs> Do I gain what? One? Yeah. One? Yeah. All right, I'll take in it. All, in all lands, one energy per sacred site they have in lands with invaders. Yeah, so that's yeah, the only okay. one. So we both got the exact same one. <laughs> one energy. I mean, okay. that's good. I'll take it. Yeah, but we also defend two in all land, just in all lands with presence, they, we defend two. Mm. So that means all of our defending was a little bit for naught. What can you do? <laughs> that, oh, man. I know. I mean, that's kind of, yeah. I guess if we were like super overrun, then it would be something. Yeah, but... uh, that would have probably been good for next round, but... Alas, shall we ravage? <laughs> yeah. Are they ravage? Yeah. Okay, let's do, uh, I guess it's sand, sand. and mountains. Let's go and do all the sands first. So nothing, I guess we'll just go from board to board. Sure. So no ravaging. They are defending four. Two. Two, okay. So then no, that's no, nothing. So nothing there. And then over here, I'm defending for six. six. So three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Wow, just <laughs> What a card it. to have. No fight back though, no fight unfortunately. Back. That's okay. This thing um, is going to go bye-bye, which is nice. Yeah, nothing here. Uh, nothing there. Over here, we're defending for four. Mm -hmm. So, because it's a sand area. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, they hit back, the town goes out. So it's one fear. One fear. And then, we'll where else? Fear. Oh, two blight. Because they they're ravaging. They're oh, ravaging yeah, that's, yeah. Three and four. Yeah, the eastern border is not good. Okay, we have one blight left on this card. I, Protect we, it at all costs. We need to find else... a card that says remove blight. Because, <laughs> I do have one, but I need two blue elements to activate that. Gosh. 
Well, Re remove blight does not mean put it back on this card, though, right? No, yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't. That's true. Um, but yeah. it, it prevents the spread of more. Okay. We want to. We want this island to stay healthy. We really do. Uh, yeah. Gosh. Okay. So that's it for ravaging. Now they build. They're gonna build a city. Yeah. There. That whole eastern side. I gotta get over there. They don't build there. They build a town right there. It, well, did you want me to do the? No. You know what? Let's let them build there. You want to let them build there? Yeah, because then I'll just da I'll just damage it. I'll just do a double damage and kill it. Okay. Right away. Perfect. And uh, nobody builds there, so that's it. Yep. The building was not not super bad. Yeah. I mean, this card is just really bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's the product of the adversary. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, ready to explore? Uh, yes. We're gonna have another escalation. So this is coastal land. Oh, I guess not. I was wrong. I was wrong. There are no the flags are not on every single card. Okay. I should have looked at yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so this goes out. Right? Yeah, it goes Slides out, down. and they are going to now explore in all of the coastal lands. And right. It's going to be literally all of them because they're coastal by nature, right? Yeah. So, all uh, at least they're explorers, and now that we're at Terra level two, yeah, we don't have to worry too much coastal about them. Coastal next to those blue oceans. Yes, next yeah. to next to the blue oceans. So we got to get rid of these buildings. Okay, so slow powers. I have one. Okay. I have one. It's the whole gathering gathering of the Dahan. See, that needs to be more strategic than I'm playing them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, next round, the jungles are going to ravage. I'm sensing uh, something Pot bad. Potential defeat? Yeah. I mean, not yet, but like... That coastal land. That coastal land is a bad card. Bad card. Okay, the question is, do, we, do I gather into here... And defend, do uh, I feel like that's gonna be it's like a one off defense, but then it puts us in a bad position for the coastal lines. I know. It doesn't get us anywhere to defend against the massive six. Oh my god, they're all gonna build, they're all gonna build, and then the round after, they're all gonna ravage. Okay, I did a lot of thinking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I'm trying to figure out what do you do with my innate power here so i'm going to target this land okay our, our we have a big problem okay because of the whole coastal lands and we're going to get blighted there potentially so we mm -hmm. have, really have to play our cards right yes um so i'm i'm targeting this land i can gather up to one two three three of them right and push up to one i'm going to gather i guess i'll just gather two i don't know <laughs> okay i'm going to gather um these like just like that okay and um i'll move my spirit present into there and i'm not going to push at all okay it's going to leave it be that's it mm -hmm. <laughs> do you have anything that's left uh yeah i do uh okay. so my innate powers uh creepers tear into mortar so uh i have one two three four five a little overkill on the um on the green powers and i have one two crescent moon showing so i do one damage to a town or city where mm -hmm. i have uh, presence uh, and then the second one says I can repeat that power, so I can basically do it twice. So I'm gonna go uh, one, two, right there. Nice. Boom. So you just you just defeated defeated one of those. Uh, town. One there. one fear. Okay, our fear is so slow. So I also have this, and I don't think uh, this matters. It's uh, one away from a sacred site. Do one damage to a town or city, and if oh. the target is this, then I can do it to each one once. But they're just gonna go down right. and come right back up. Yeah, it's not it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Why did you play it? Because I needed the blue to do oh, the defend. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's it. That is the that, that is, is that. the end of the round. Let's see how many rounds we uh we make it till, right? Survive, yeah. So he's back and I don't think anybody is turned over. Uh no. Okay. So surprisingly. I'm eyeing a card that I'm going to reclaim. So I'm gonna put that aside. Yes, don't forget. And then let's move on to the next phase before my brain forgets yeah. what I had planned. Spirit phase. The so spirit phase. I'm taking this growth because I need some energy. So it's going to give me four four energy and I can I can add a presence. I'm going to add this one okay. so that I always have a fire uh, element showing. And uh, this is my weakness. I don't know where to move my mm -hmm. presence. So, mm -hmm. you know, the Thunder Speaker spirit is extremely powerful um, if you know how to use them. So, oh gosh. You know, I'm going to go into there. Okay. Because nice. that is a coastal land that I am not in yet, mm -hmm. and we need to defeat these buildings. Yeah, and it's going east also, which is good. Right. Okay, that's it for my growth phase. Okay, so my growth phase, I am going to definitely take this so I can now play three cards, and I'm going to come in here to create another sacred site. Oh, okay. That's going to want to build, and I'm going to say no. <laughs> I say nay. Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, now I'm going to reclaim cards. So I'm going to bring everything back into my hand, and I'm going to gain a power card. 
I should, should I go for major? Yes. Okay, major. Let's... If you have enough energy, major power cards are so expensive, yeah. but they're so nice. They're so powerful. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Please get something that, oh God, that I, I don't use. even know. We need everything. We need something that removes blight. We need a little bit everything. of it all. Yeah. Things that can push explorers would be nice about now because we need them to stop building because yeah. we need to remove buildings. Totally. All right. So I'm going to get rid of these power cards. And so I'm going to, for my hand, I'm going to lose the gift of proliferation, which is the one that says you basically can put out one of your presents. Okay. So that one's out, but I brought in power storm. And uh, Power Storm is pretty nice. Now, the symbols have nothing to do with the symbols <laughs> that I have going on, but I like what it does. Uh, it's uh, speed, so it's fast. So it says the target spirit gains three energy, and then once this turn, uh, the target may repeat a power card. So meaning I can say, Monique, I want you to gain three energy and repeat a card, or I can do it for myself. Oh, my gosh. I wish I wish that card was mine. Those elements are perfect for mine. I know. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. That's nice. I do like that. The ability to do the same, another power. Or again. A power again, yeah. Yeah. So is that, that's all, everything for your growth? Uh, yes. That was my gaining and reclaiming. Okay. Gain your energy. So mm -hmm. I'm taking two. I'll take three and give that And one. then this time I can reclaim a card. Nice. One of my cards. So I think I'm going to reclaim this one my okay. sudden ambush because i'm probably going to use it this turn sounds good <laughs> and i can play three cards all right i'm going to play these three cards yeah i'll play these three and it's going to cost me all or not all i guess it's just six six energy it's only going to cost me two so <laughs> that's nice yeah and uh we're doing some stuff yeah okay. so before i forget can i do all my fast stuff first go ahead yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so these two cards are fast but i'm doing some stuff with elements this time with my innate powers I'm showing four of the purple elements, which means both of these innate powers can be fast. Nice. And I have the one red element mm -hmm. that'll be that'll um, I'll need to gather. Yeah, well, you'll, yeah, that's nice, yeah. And I'll also have two yellow and one fire. Too bad I don't have four yellow. <laughs> and I'll, so I'll be able to do this. Mm -hmm. So let's see the order of things. I guess let's first do this card, Sudden Ambush. So this card, um, I'm going to target this land okay. with it. I can gather one Dahan, and it says each Dahan destroys one explorer. So there's three Dahan in there. Um, these three explorers go out. Nice. Because they're, these lands are going to build. Yeah, yeah. They're going to build. We're going to uh, have some pain soon. <laughs> so that's this. Okay. And then this. It lead the Furious Assault. It's the first time I'm using this 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 game, uh, because I have the two yellow and the one the one fire element. Yep. It says I can destroy one town for every two uh, Dahan in the target Ooh. land. I have to target somewhere that I'm in. So I have a spirit presence here, which means I can uh, destroy this one town. I like so it. I get one fear. One fear. Perfect. Uh, this innate power. It's the same one I've been doing, but now it's fast. So I'm going to gather. I'm going to gather these two. I'm targeting this land. Yep. And I'm gathering these two as well as this spirit presence, which we're going to lose. That's okay. See in a second That's because okay. I'm going to play words of warning, and I'm targeting. I have to target a land with the Dahans. So I'm targeting this one, and I'm going, to, I'm going to place my defend token here. It's going to defend for three, and then during ravage, they're going to do everything simultaneously. Nice. So you can take that city out. So I can take this the city out. Unfortunately, not the town. That's I was okay. one Dahan short. That's okay. I wonder if I should bring this. I should. I wonder if I should have targeted this to bring in four and push two. Although I don't think this is, I'm gonna leave this alone. Cause it's a one time, unless, yeah. unless we pull another uh, jungle. Another jungle, that, that would be really bad. Yeah. I like it's the positioning of those Dahan right there. Yeah, so then that's that's the words of warning and that's also my innate power. So everything that I need to do that was fast is already done. I just wanna let you know, this is a slow power and I'm planning on targeting here. So if you can push as many Dahan in there as you can, yeah, well, I, that would I played, be ideal. I played this slow card that says push three Dahan. All right. So I will. <laughs> yes. It's like we talked about that. Yeah, it's like we talked about it. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, do you have anything fast? I do. So, um, I have uh, overgrowth in the night. So mm -hmm. it's speed, uh, and it says I can either add one presence or if a target land has your uh, presence, an invader's three fear. So I'm gonna say this is my target land. There's at least one invader. Yep. So we got one, two, three. Oh my fear gosh! One short. In. So then that's that. Let's go into the invader phase. We don't have any sweet, sweet fear cards We're this time. We're one away. So. Shoot. Starting with ravaging, nothing happens here. Nobody's there. Um, nothing. Happens. They no, they do ravage here, but 
It's a one and one. It's a yeah. one. Mm -hmm. So we flip this, and then the Dahan fight back. So that explorer goes out. That's nice. And then over here. So okay, we've got some action. Uh, my defend was for three. Three. Yep. So it's three, four, five, six minus three. So then they deal three damage, but because my card, it says during Ravage, um, they deal damage simultaneously with the invaders. Mm. So typically they would hit the Dahan the, the first and then we would lose out on them. Mm -hmm. But because of they're doing it simultaneously, uh, we just one, hit two, three. Go on. one, two, three, four. Yep. And then they hit, they they remove one of my Dahan, unfortunately. And then one gets flipped up. And one gets flipped up. Yes. And so because... We have the one Dahan casualty, our first one. It's painful, I know. For you, right? Yeah. It is because I am an ally. Mm -hmm. I'm sworn to victory. So <laughs> okay. for each one destroyed, I have to destroy uh, a spirit presence. And that's this out is my for first you. Yep. This is out. Yeah. That's okay. Whole that, game. That's okay. We avoided a blight token. So. And we get two fear. We do get two fear. So uh, one comes in. That city. That gets a fear card there. And I mean, one goes there. Before before I finalize that. Uh -huh. Yep. Would you be able to do one more damage? Uh, I'm too far. But you wouldn't I, I don't be able to do. I don't have an. Uh, yeah, I wish I had a range. I don't. I just don't have enough range. Okay, then it yeah. is what it is. The only the, the only thing that I was eligible for at speed was an extra defense here, but it's only one away from from a sacred site, so I could only defend into here or like here. I couldn't right. go all the way up there. Okay. Yeah, I'm just too far. All right. So then that's it for. But we have a fear card for the next one. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so now the the scariest part of the round, they're all going to build in all of the coastal lands. Yes. So they're building a city. They are. <laughs> really unfortunate. Uh, they're building a town. We need you to do that sacred site magic. Trying. <laughs> Trying, yeah. The sacred the sacred site magic. Um, that's going to go there. Mm -hmm. Nobody builds here because nobody's good. there. Yeah. Um, over here. So gonna... instead of then building, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, so my card is I'm going to push... Uh, these two into here. Do you have a card that even if they built a town, it we can take it all out? If you push three Dahan, I can, I can only push oh, two. Oh, two, two yeah. Dahan into here. Mm -hmm. This card will allow me to deal um, three damage. Three damage total. Yeah. So don't don't let them build so that we can okay. move the city. Okay. Sounds good. So uh, yeah. So I will remove this because of my uh, sp my special rules over here. And unfortunately, we do gain a city yeah. in that land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Wow. It's getting real scary. Yeah. Real, real scary. Mm -hmm. Let's see so where we explore, tough. shall we? Oh, yeah. Gosh. Oh, I don't want to flip this over. What is it? Oh, it's got one of those. Okay. No, no. This is this is, this is is fine. This is better than that that card, that yeah, evil coastal, card. Coastal Lens is tough. So it does have a flag icon. So let's refer to our adversary it's again. It's a building, right? Uh, land rush on each board with... So both boards are going to add a town to a land without a town. So we right. add two towns. Should, should I put a town here in this jungle? Do you want to do that? I mean, you have two Dahan there, so if it does attack, then, you know, one will go out, and you'll just lose this one, but you haven't really done anything with that. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I guess I don't see why not. If yeah. this is a, a terrible mistake, let us know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, when, when here, where do you want to go with this? Well, you don't want to put it in a uh, sand area or in a coastal area, so I would yes. imagine that wetland, right? I mean, sure, I guess let's put it there, yeah. right? What do you think? I think so, because it's not going to build, and it's not going to ravage. So. Okay. So now back to this. The sand areas will gain will gain some explorers. explorers. Everybody. everybody. Everybody, everybody. One, two, three, and four. We really, really need to instill more fear. Okay. I, I'm going to be doing some fear right now. Yeah. Let's move on to the, the slow powers. For me, it's just this one, but you're going to push first. You're going to push these two? Uh, yes, yes, we're gonna push that in. So Oop. you're gonna push it into, into here. There. Oh yeah. All right. So then now I'm gonna do my manifestation of power and glory. <laughs> so one fear, please. One fear, just for playing it. Uh huh. And then each Dohan deals damage equal to the number of spirit presence in here. Unfortunately, I don't have more than that. Okay. So you have one, but times three. So that's three. Yeah. So then it's gonna be uh, yeah. So three three damage total. So we take out the city. Perfect. That's two more fear. So two more fear. Nice. And we have a fear card going into the next round, which is great. It's already there. Wow. I'm a little bit exhausted. Okay. That's the end of the round. Oh, uh, no, no. I, I have some oh. stuff going on. <laughs> Sorry. No. Yeah. I was a little bit me-centric there. Go <laughs> so ahead. I have this one, uh, Rain of Blood. It's a very nice card. So uh, it's... <laughs> Are you I, complimenting the card? <laughs> I am. It's great. So yeah. uh, from one away from a sacred site. So yep. I have this one. And I'm going to target this one, which has invaders. It says, gain two fear. Yep. 
Plus, if a target land has two buildings, yep. which this one does, another fear. Nice. So we're getting okay. close. I think we can get another... Two fear cards on the next one would be great. Would be great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's this one. And then I technically have this. Do I have... Ah, oh, I wish. If I... Uh... Oh, man. So I am short one of these crescents in order to take this action, which would allow mm -hmm. me to take out a town. Uh... I could have taken this town or something out. And then we got that last fear. But, that is uh, okay. Yeah. We did is, what we could. That's what, yeah, that's what I could do. Let's clean up. All right. The Han shall heal. I'll help this one out. And gain my power token. I wish I was better <laughs> at this spirit because this spirit is awesome. I mean, you're doing good. The harness, the you're power, well. the power yeah. of the, the friendship with the Han. <laughs> so I discard these cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So moving into this next round, we are fearful of the coastal lands. They are all going to ravage. Yes. Whew, that's bad. So we are really gonna need if you can if you can if you can get some of those uh, a little bit of fear. We need one more fear. We need some some Naveen sacred sites. I have, in all I the have right two places. sacred sites. What's gonna ravage everywhere? <laughs> here, all these three areas here and this town Oof. is that land. I mean, is is what we're a little bit afraid of. Yeah, a lot of bit afraid of. Uh -huh. All right. Well, I only have two cards left in my hand, so I have to reclaim. Yeah. Which means I can gain. Um, more power cards. Do you want to do minors or uh, major is going to cost you a lot of energy? Yeah, You're I only have low. two energy. I'm, all, I'm only going to get two more. you already have one major card, right? I already have, huh? You have one major, right? I do. Yeah. Let's, let's go with the minor card first. first. It would okay. be nice to get those zero, the zero cost ones. Like nice yeah. matching symbol ones. Oh my gosh. Okay, unfortunately, these are all slow, mm. but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose this, Call to Migrate. Okay. Uh, it lets me gather up to three Dahan and push up to three. It <laughs> nice. makes the most sense for yeah, me. Yeah, for you. Let's yeah. go with the major one. Okay, Major. Yeah. Good luck. We're going Major. Four. Thank you. Good luck. All right, I'm going to choose this card nice. as my Major power. It's Paralyzing Fright. Nice. It's a fast card. It requires me to have a Sacred Sight, though. You have one. Um, yes, you that's true. Yeah. And so it, it, it generates four fear, and it says Invader skip all actions in the target land this turn. And if I have a good Ooh. combination of symbols, it's an additional four fear. That's all the fear generated wow. that's just one whole fear, fear card. card yeah yeah Ooh. and i'm replacing uh this card voice of thunder which just lets me push up to four dahan i haven't really been using it much because it's a slow slow power or so generate two fear it's one of my starting cards okay just tossing that out okay that's my growth okay so my growth uh i would like to play more cards so i'm gonna get this last one out so now i can play four cards i am going nice. to because we know coastal lands are ravaging so what i what i could do is i can go like this i could put one here yeah and then take this action which is add presence and i can do this nice oh my gosh yes so that's kind of walled off and i can do that whole thing where i just i just pluck off oh that's so nice yeah Okay. You are completely wow. So now that's where I can now redeploy these once I start defending ourselves there. Yeah. You're okay. completely completely present. I'm completely present, yes. Okay. Uh so I, I do um I because I do that I get to uh play an extra <laughs> card. Yeah. So I get to play five cards. I <laughs> only have three of, in my hand. So, oh my gosh. So many uh cards. A little bit of a waste there, but I'm gonna gain my two energy now. Uh Head. three for me. Just sneakily stealing it already. Cool. Um I'm just I, gonna play them all. <laughs> I'm gonna play three cards. Yeah. Okay, what are you playing here? I don't even know. So, well, let's see. So, we don't have to worry about this land ravaging. Anymore, no. Ideally, we would need to generate one fear before... Yes. Um, it would be great if you could generate a fear. Because you can't, right? No. Well, you oh, you can only defend. You're a defender. Okay, so I, I need to do that. Yeah, if you can generate one fear, that would be great. We would we'd go into the next uh, little thing with two fear two fear cards going into their, their turn. That would be great. Okay, I'm going to play these three cards. Um, this might be the same combination that I played <laughs> recently. Sure. I don't remember now. Yeah. But it's going to cost all four of my energy. Okay. And that's that. Oh, yeah. Mine. Did I pay mine? I don't think I did. Uh, it's going to cost me four. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, all right. So fast powers. Yeah, so I have this power storm. So uh, I'm going to target you, and it says the target spirit gains three energy. So go ahead and gain three energy. Oh, this is great. Yes, this and is then great. Once this turn, the target you may repeat one of your power cards as long as you pay the cost. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, because I'm playing. Okay, I'm playing these two. These two are fast, and with this combination of cards, I'll be able to activate both of my innate powers, and they'll both be fast because okay. I have now the four purple elements pretty much all the time. Yep. And so with that card, I guess I can use this twice. Yeah, to you defend can defend for six total instead of for three. For six. Okay. Do you have anything else that's fast? Uh, I do have this defense. So I, I have a one, one green, two, three green, and two blue. So I'm going to do a two defense here. 
A two defense here, so three, four, five. So it'll be three. I have this, lead the furious assault. I have my two yellow, the one fire element. So I can destroy one town for every two Dahan in this target land. And you can do that right now? I can because it's fast because I have four uh, purple elements. That generates our last fear card. Fantastic. Boom. Right there. Our right. last fear, fear. It's not our last fear card. I'm sorry, yes, yeah, fear, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, <laughs> that would have been cooler. That now has two during their phase, which is great during their coastal lands ravage. Right. Okay, so I did this. I have these two. So this, the drift down into slumber is just going to be for this land. I'm targeting this land. It's, uh, because it's sand and defense for four. Because it's sand, yeah, it's going to be a defense for Which is for exactly four. what it is. That's yeah. it for that. And then my words of warning, I'm going to target this land over here. And then you're going to use my spirit card to do it twice, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to put both tokens here. So now it's going to defend for six. Six. And then uh, this is the card that lets me um, do everything simultaneously with the invaders. Yeah, you do have so... to pay it, though, again, if you're going to reuse it. So uh, your three oh, will yeah. go down to two. Yeah. Okay. Good catch. Yeah, easy to forget. And then I'm going to use my innate power, because I have the, the red symbol. It's fast now. Mm -hmm. To gather, I can gather four and push up to two from the target land. So I definitely need to push into here. Mm -hmm. So it's going to hit for how much? Three, four? Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, if you can put one in there, you'll you'll be able to... Well, I would like them to, let's see, three, four, five. I, w I want them to hit back. I'm going to gather these three. One, two, three. Okay. Because if I do that, you then I can the take the city and, and the town. The town. Ooh, that's right? very good, yeah. Do I care about bringing my presence in? <laughs> well, they are going to build there later on. They so, are going to build here. So you might want to be there to kind of drag back. Yeah, we're just going to leave it at that. Okay, cool. <laughs> so very nice. I think I think that's it. I use these two, and I use both these fast ones. I still have this one slow so, power for yeah. later so i use this one to help you out and then we uh, defended with this one so yeah that's Ooh, it this is tough <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. is this is an intermediate ver i can't wow level two adversary i, I, don't, I, I don't even know i yeah. cannot imagine what a level 10 is whoever beat a level 10 in this game please let us know in the comments you are Explain yourself. You're the master of Spirit <laughs> Island. Yeah. Okay. Two Shall fear we? cards. Please do not be duds. So it has to be in this order. Okay. And we're now at Terra level two. So the first one is Emigration Accel Accelerates. Uh, each player removes one explorer <gasps> or wow. a town from a coastal now land. This is remove. That does not generate fear by removing. Right. But we removing buildings is the name of the game. Yeah. So uh, I mean, if I if we, uh, it's so tempting to just remove. Oops, well, remove if, one of the explorers. You know, if you do, I then we don't a, lose it to Han. Yeah. But maybe it's okay. Wait, to, if you lose to Han, you lose a. We lose. You can remove one of those towns well, there. I'll remove each player. Does it? So I'll do one. Oh yeah, one. each player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So protect and protect. It has to be coastal, and it's not cities. So I think that's the best. I think removing this is better because they're going to build a, a city. If we don't remove it, okay. And most likely, the last card here will will make just the end game cities only. Cities only. And then we just rush the cities. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. like it? Yeah. Okay, if you're willing to this. lose that, yeah. I'm I'm willing to lose the Dahan. I think I think the Dahan are with me when I say okay. that. It's not. Oh. Well, it's my, terrible. Actually. My thing is then because I'm protecting this one right now. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to do this, and then we can just leave that there? Right, because I'm going to use my innate power, my special rules power, to say bye bye to this, but they will not ravage there. That's true. We're going to do a fight back here. Uh, this is defended, and uh, this is now not a problem. No one's here, and then you're doing that whole thing there. So you I... don't lose a Dahan, you don't lose a presence, and this is just buying its time. And it's not going <laughs> to ravage next because ravaging next. Okay, will be built. I guess let's yeah? just do it. Let's just do okay. it. Okay, cool. All right, so that was Emigration Accelerates. We still have one more. Yep. And it is scapegoats, okay? Each town destroys one explorer in its land, and each city destroys two okay. in its land. So this city is going to destroy that. Wow. So that's nice. That is really nice. What each town we destroys one. Okay, so this, this one gets destroyed. Very nice. This is great. This town? Yeah. Wow. Yep, yeah. And down over here. Both of these go. Wow. So your fight back is great. Yeah, my fight back is fantastic. It's almost too good. <laughs> yeah. That was real nice. That, see, that was a useful fear card. That we was. not had a useful you, one. You removed from here, right? I did not. Oh, you so didn't? Are you down. sure? Yeah, okay. for sure. Promises? I, <laughs> uh, hey, yes. Okay. Wow, that looks nice. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> These fear cards fear are great. Cards. Okay, so uh, now they're going to go into the, they're going to ravage. 
So, coastal lands, starting with here. Uh, I will uh, choke the land with green. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Okay. Here, okay. Yeah, there was you're some defending. For two. For two. So three minus two is one. one. They're going to hit back for a bunch. So that's two. Boom. Two fear Boom. for that city. We are two. We have six more fear to generate. Right. They. I'm. I'm defending for something for, for four. four. So yeah. that they're totally fine. Uh, over here, there's nothing. They hit back for, for one. one, or they hit for one, and then and they hit back. back. And move that explorer. Perfect. Over here, we did the double. You're defending for six. We're defending for six. And it's three, four, five. So then the, all out. they hit back for six. Boom. Right. So these two are out. So it's a three fear generated. Get three fear. Yeah. One, two. Oh wow! Okay, okay. We can. I, I'm this starting to see. This is feeling good now. Yeah, I see. Light. I see like. Ugh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then the sand will build. Oh yeah. <laughs> About that, right? Yeah, we're, I think Over we here. just have to be okay with that. We have to be okay with it. So town. Town. We've got city, unfortunately. Oh. That's okay. I forgot that. It is what it is. I forgot about these other places. Town, town. I think, I think we survived pretty well. If we can generate enough fear, all we have to do is deal with the two cities that are out there right now. That's true. That's pretty good. Let's find out where they explore to, shall we? Moving yeah. down. Coastal. Let's Here we go. Mountains. Mountains. But first, we add a town. Here you go. To a place that doesn't have any buildings. One per board. All right. So we definitely, we know we're going to try to get rid of all cities. So we don't, we do not want to put these into mountain regions because the mountain regions will be building. And if we have towns. I'll put it mine there. Yeah. What do you think about it? Uh, I like it. Okay. Um, all right. I think, I think I have to put it here, right? In this jungle. I mean. It's not going to ravage anytime soon. It's, it's a safe place. We have sacred sites. We do. And then we're going to get an explorer in all of the mountainous regions because um, all the conditions That's still apply. Yep. 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 Well. That wasn't so bad. Not so bad. We're surviving. That's a, that's a good one. That is a good one. I haven't seen okay. mountain in a while. So slow slow powers. I have my manifestation of power and glory. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I have to target a land that has uh, Dahan and um, one of my presents. And I we generate one fear. Okay, cool. And then each Dahan will deal damage equal to the number of my presents there. So, so uh, before you do that, actually, I have replace one explorer with a Dahan. Would you like me to do that first? Because then you'll generate more... Something this? Well, the only place really where I can do this is there because mm -hmm. no nowhere else really has anything that's worth okay. damaging. We'll let you go first then. Huh? Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to target this land. And so I only have one presence, so they're going to do two damage uh, total. And this is damage, right? Enough. Yeah. Yeah. So it's Boom. it's enough to remove that town or to, to defeat to destroy that town. Nice. So that's as far. Do you want me to do this one? Replace one explorer with a Dahan? I mean, definitely. I mean, you have to target a land that has Dahan in it already, though. Yeah, I think it's going to be like this area right here, right? Well, sa the sand area is going to ravage. It would be nice. Is there any sand area? No, no sand areas have Dahan in it. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, the okay. only thing I could legally do is... Definitely here. Yeah, there, right? Here... Or there. I mean, it's a mountain area. There's so much Dahan there already. Maybe I should do it here. That's the thing. Yeah, just pluck it. Pluck it and turn it into a Dahan. Hey, no, yeah, just do it there. Sure. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, because there's only one there. There's three here, three here. Right. So you might as well yeah. stack them up all over the board. That's nice. At least they're not going to build. Okay, so that was in that, that one. In that land. And then I have uh, this whole thing over here. One damage um, to... So one away from a sacred site, one da... Oh, are it's, you going to do It's that same anything? old thing that I've, I've been able to but do. But can you couple it with that this time? No, I don't have two crescents this time around. Ah, uh, okay. So just one... If target land, instead do one damage. Yeah, that's... that's it's it useless. It is what it is. It's just useless. Yep. Nothing is partially damaged. That's happened a lot. That. I should have got rid of that card, probably. Maybe. The <laughs> thing is, it has the, the blue-green symbol, so it's like forcing me to hang on to it. Yeah, that's yeah. A, those symbols are really nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the okay. end. Mm -hmm. uh, anything damaged? Yeah, Just this one right one here. And then our tokens. tokens. I really like that power that you got that lets me repeat a card. The good That's... thing is I have to reclaim because I have a, I'm out of cards. It's a really good thing. So I'm definitely reclaiming. Okay, so moving into the next round. Do these get discarded? What are we looking at? Uh, sand is going to ravage. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many fear cards are left? I think there's only that? one left. One left? This is <gasps> it. Yeah, and we need to generate we... one fear at the start of the next turn. I mean, to... we could win this. Yeah. Yeah, that's why when 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 that last card got pulled, that was that was pretty nice. We can win this next round if we play our cards right, literally. Literally, yeah. Well, no matter what, I'm, I'm recalling because I have no cards. So 
Okay, why don't you go ahead and, and do your, your reclaim while I try to figure out okay. <laughs> what cards so I can play I'm here. Gonna, so because uh, of my special ability, I have steady regeneration, meaning I can actually place out one of these. Yeah, oh, finally. Finally. Be and do I'll, it. I'll just go ahead and put it here. Might as well. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to do my reclaim. So I pick up and then I gain a power card. Why there? Uh, because it'll give me the, the sacred site next to a city, and if we're trying to attack cities... Oh, because it's jungle, jungle, yeah, yeah. Jungle and water, jungle yeah. And water. It has to be jungle right, or right, water, right. so I okay. might as well. Uh, okay. So I get to uh, reclaim cards, and I gain a power card. You know what, I'm just going to go with a minor card. Okay. I think so, yeah. <sighs> the stress. Mm -hmm. I feel the pressure. All right, so I'm going to discard these three and take this one. This one's called El Elemental Boon, and it's a fast card. Uh, I can target any spirit, and that spirit gains three different elements of their choice. And if you target another spirit, you also gain the chosen elements. Oh, nice. So if I'm, if I'm like, hey, Monique, you're going to be the one. You choose three, and then I'll also get those three. Oh, okay. It's awesome. Yeah. That is great. It's a, it's a minor power. Okay, that will be useful. Yeah. So for my growth phase, I'm going to do this. I really need energy, so I'm taking four, and then I have to put a... Um, a presence out. I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna try to go with a, a strong fear push. So you're gonna let me choose how many elements? Three. Three. And I also have that card that lets you double your turn again. Like you can take the the same uh, card and do it twice. Okay. So I'm gonna give that to you as well. Okay. I'm gonna put out this presence. So I can have another sun symbol. Okay. And oh, gosh, I don't know where to put it. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'll go here. Okay. I don't know why. I just feel like the city is in there. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. All right. That's that's it. So let's get our let's gain our energy. Okay. So I get three. So I gain two. I'm gonna reclaim a card, and I'm just gonna reclaim this one. It's at the top of my deck. It looks good. Words of warning, and it's fast. Cool. So I'm gonna take it, and I can play three cards, and I think I'm just gonna go with these three. You know what? Instead of putting this here, okay. I think I'm gonna put it here. Yeah. Because I have may have a card. That will let me in invaders skip all actions. And yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I think if we can't uh, destroy all the cities right now before the invader phase, at least prevent them from building more cities. You know yeah. what I mean? Fear cards will come out. And probably. the mountain areas are going to build. Okay. So I think this is I think this is going to be good. Okay. All right, I'm going to play these three cards. Okay, I'm playing these three. So it's costing me six energy. Three. Actually, no, not those six. three. The other, the other four. Sorry. What are you doing there? I uh, I. <laughs> I have seven cards total, and I accidentally put out the three instead of the four. You know, you started the game with playing only one card each. Not like at you. I know. You're a hero. It. I know. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. So this okay. is going to cost me three, four, five, six. It's going to cost me a lot. So we talked about this already. Yes. Um, I'm going to give you the one. You're giving me this, right? I'm giving you this and this right here. So I'm giving you the one that gives you three. Okay. The one that I just, I just so did earlier. So let's do that now. So okay. I gain three energy. Yep. And, and then also, uh, so that means you are allowed to play another, the same card twice, twice, as long as you can pay for it. Yes, it's going to be this one for yes. sure. So I'm going to tap that. And then I'm going to give you the target spirit. You're going to gain three different elements of your choice. Right. And okay. because I'm giving it to you, I also get those three elements. Yes. And we talked about this a little bit before, you know, if that part didn't make it into the video. But yes, <laughs> um, I'm going to choose the uh, air, which is purple. Okay. Um. The, I think, I don't know, is that mountain? It's like an arrow kind of thing. The gray, yeah. the gray one, the gray element, and sure. whatever one you need. Do you need something? Uh, a crescent would be nice. Okay, crescent, you got it. So okay. those three, they have to be three different ones. So I, okay. Okay, and so I'm also, I'm going to choose this card to do a second time. Twice. Using that, okay. that card that you play, so I have to pay for it. There's four. Okay. And then now I'm going to do, can I do all my, my powers right Go now? Yep. So there's a lot going on here. Let's just do them one at a time. I think I can, so I have one, two. The third purple was from this card. Yes. And then the fourth one is, is there. So I can do these two innate powers uh, as fast. Nice. And I can do this power, the two sun. I have sun, sun, <laughs> and yeah. a fire. Fire. So uh -huh. this lets me destroy one town for every two Dahan in the target land. So let's do that first so that we can try to get that last fear sure. generated. Mm -hmm. Where's is, where is the town that I can just <laughs> destroy? How about... Here, if you can get in there. Okay, then I'll do this now because I have the, the red element. I can okay. gather I can gather one, two, three, four, and push up to two. Okay, then you can technically push from here into here and then take that one We out. don't need them in here. Oh, it, oh, I see what you mean. Because you can only push one away, right? You can't push multiple. Okay, oh. I'm going to target this land, and I'm going to gather 
these, I'm going to gather them all. So you're doing uh, gather, not push. You, you can do both. Okay. Using this power, it lets you gather one Dahan per purple symbol and then push. So from here, mm. I can gather from my neighbors and then push. Okay. You know, so it's kind of a way to get like, if I wanted to get Dahan from here into here and then push them I see. there, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to gather those into there and then... Are you going to push them all into the sand area? I can gather, I can gather more. You know, I'm going to leave this behind because there's nothing going on here. So I'm gathering four and okay. I'm pushing two. Okay, and then that's this innate power. Lead the Furious Assault lets me destroy a town for every two Dahan um, in that nice. target land. So I'm targeting Boom. there. Got the so fear. One. Yeah. Bam, that so goes we got out. A, we got a fear card. Fear. Now we are terror level three. Three. Meaning victory condition is all cities, cities need to be cleared off. It's these two. Okay. Okay. I do have defense. Do you, do you want me to defend this one so the Dahan can just go back? No, I have a ton of defense. Okay. I, all of my cards are defending. Oh, interesting. Okay. My, my goal here was just we, did, we have two cities. Let's just get them out and then prevent more cities from getting onto yeah. the board because then we'll win. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. So then this Paralyzing Fright, uh, this is awesome. So mm -hmm. I have to target a land that's one away um, max from a sacred site. This is my sacred site. I'm targeting this land. Invaders skip all actions in that land this turn. Okay. So I'm just going to put uh, this So my, my question to you is, are we going to be able to destroy that city by the end of this uh, turn? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, well, no because, because my thing is, if you do not target this land uh, and we and you put enough Dahan in there, then we can do a fight back, right? If I defend it for four, so then it's uh, three, four, five, six, I would defend it for four, and then it would hit back to take these. If we can hit back for at least yes, three. Yes, you're right, that's better. Would you rather do that? I would rather do that. And so then we do not skip its ravage. We want it to ravage there. Yes. Right? Or you know what? <laughs> I only have one blue showing, so oh. I thought I had two blue showing. So how much can you defend for? I could defend for two. For two. Do you, do you want me to do that? Yeah. Defend for two defend there, because it's okay. going to be three, four, five, six. So that's four. Um, I can do my words of warning first, then. I'll do this after. I'll do words of warning. This is also fast. I target there, because there's a Hun. Mm -hmm. And uh, it defends for three. Oh, perfect. Okay. So this is fully defended, and then the, the two Dahan here... We'll fight back and remove and that city. they'll take out that city. Perfect. So then we just have to focus on that city. Yes. So that's this. Uh, so back to the Paralyzing Fright. Okay. It doesn't really is... matter uh, what I target, I guess. Like, what's ravaging? Okay, I'll, I'll target this. Yeah. So invaders will skip all actions here this turn. The The kicker is we generate four fear because I have two purple and one, two, and then the third uh, symbol element was from that card. The card, yep. We generate four more. Okay, so eight... So Which eight. means another fear card. <laughs> another fear card. Perfect. And then this is a card that we said uh, we're going to activate again, mm -hmm. right? Using that one card that you had. Yep. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again. This time, I guess, what? I'll target this land. Okay. So I'm targeting that land because we don't want it, it to, to build. build. Yeah. It's because it'll build a city. So it skips everything in the, this turn and we generate another... Eight. Another eight, maybe. And then goes boom. We're Three. just one card away from victory, actually. Oh, yeah. If you generate another fear, right, then it's enough fear. Wow. Yeah. I don't think I'm, we're going to, though. That's okay. Uh, and then this is the one. I just played this because I needed more symbols. It's defense for six. What else is ravaging? Mm. Oh, actually, everything. Everything, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to target here, then. Sure. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, one away from a sacred site, so that's fine. Oh, I don't have enough reminder tokens. Can I use one of yours? Sure. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> So I'm defending there for six. All right, that's that's it. So which ones are we skipping? It's uh, we're skipping this one and this one. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, the ones that have the reminder side of the token. We're gonna have an unhealthy island, huh? Are are skipping? Why? Because this is gonna this is gonna ravage. Right. Okay, that's fine though. That's right? fine. Yeah. It's gonna. Uh, we can we still we can have afford these fear have, cards. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna say. It's true. So do you have anything else? Yeah, I have this one. Uh, Add one presence, or if target land has your presence and invaders, three fear. <laughs> to generate three fear. And three fear. Be done with this. All right, <laughs> it's cool. going to be, we're almost done. Okay. Okay, so invader phase, let's see these fear cards. Okay. So this is level three terror. Terror this level three. Good. Let's this see what very good. magic they will grant us. Tall tales of savagery. Oh, I like the sound of that. Mm. Okay, remove two explorers or one town from each land with the Han. Then remove one city from each land with at least two to Han. So that's gonna handle that. Dang it! We should have moved those to hunt somewhere else. Well, I guess it is what it is. So remove two two explorers or a town from each land with a Dahan. So let's do that first. Okay. This one. Two explorers. Uh, okay. well. This is all removed, right? Yeah, just remove, so we don't generate fear for this. 
You move this. Wow, th these. Strong. This is really strong. Strong. This goes out. Anything else? This explorer. Uh, or yeah, this town. Nice. Yeah. There's, there's that. Getting to level three fear is good. Yeah. Then remove sure. one city from each land with at least two. So it's going to be this Boom. one. So we just have one last one last city to go. We'll Let's see if this will it. do it. Yeah. Come fear on. of the unseen. Each player removes one explorer or town from a land with presence or one city from a land with a with a sacred site. I'm here. Sacred site. That's ah! it. Done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> It came out in terror. Woo! I don't oh wanna, my god! I don't want to have to go through another round. So to be clear, because we got a little bit excited there, uh, the game is over. The game's over. We yeah. win immediately because we have reached terror level three, which only requires a victory condition of no cities on the map, and that fear card. You know, I I knew we were gonna generate. That's why I wanted to play that card because it would generate two, three additional three fear, fear cards. Yeah, and cards. like in my head, I was thinking that even before we get to the true inv in they gotta invader be space, strong. we could remove the cities because there are only two left, but you don't know you don't what know. cards you're going to get. Yeah. So, wow. I feel like we did a lot better than we felt like we were doing midway through. I think like that's kind of how Spirit Island goes. Like you always feel like you're struggling like that first yeah, Third our the island game. was still healthy. Still healthy, we, yeah. We only put out three Blight tokens, and mm -hmm. we we didn't even get to the level three invader cards. We were just about yet. to. So we just had a lot of time to. left. It yeah. just was really stressful for a second there. And you want to make sure that you're playing your cards properly, matching all the elements, getting enough energy that you need in order yeah. to... To, to be successful because things can go down the drain really quickly. Super quick, yeah. Right? In like one round, the, the entire tide could change. You can like lose. That coastal lands uh, was, a, was a problem there for a second, but uh, I think we, we, we managed to, we got lucky with with the, one of the tarot cards. It, it kind of like helped us out there. But um, yeah, this is a the fear, fear the, card. The that fear, we, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the nature of the, nature the, of the yeah, fear card. That's why you need to get them going. They're yeah. so powerful. Wow, mm -hmm. I'm so... <sighs> I'm so relieved. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> My brain is so tired. This is much longer than the uh, the final edit will be. So there was a lot of uh, yeah. downtime of us thinking and thinking and thinking through our cards. This this game is so good. This has mm. got to be. I don't know. It's I, up there, huh? I, this might be one of. This might be my favorite cooperative fully cooperative game. It yeah. is so good, and I feel like every time we play it, it gets better and better, because you just you can explore all these different spirits and unlock their strategies and just there's so much to explore in this game Every yeah the game synergies with so the different. cards yeah just making yeah. sure that you you can play enough cards and, and, and fund those cards and uh and it's and asymmetric time just right yeah but it's so well made very it's, well made it's it's wow i'm just always so <laughs> impressed by this game yeah it's really because good in, like i've played the thunder speaker a couple times now right preparing for this and uh -huh. This game felt different than the other games that we played with the Thunder Speaker because you gain more uh, power cards, the minor and the major power cards. And you they're all different. Synergies, yep. And you create synergies with each other mm -hmm. because we this game we were able to find those additional power cards that let us um, feed, feed off of each other. Yep. Like you let me play cards twice. Yep. You let me choose the elements. It, so good. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm talking so much. What are your thoughts? Yeah, of course. I mean, well, we a year ago when we played it on the channel, I think we raved about it then, and it's no different now. Uh, it's nice to play with it. that adversary is uh, is tough um, when you this see game that. Is so hard. Yeah, and that was <laughs> oh only a gosh. level two adversary. I think there's up to six levels, so it, so it, it gets harder and harder. And I don't even know how you're able supposed to do that. There are three or four. I don't remember exactly how many of these adversaries adversaries there's there are. And if you've never played with it, with an adversary before, they also have different levels on them, and so you choose which level you want to go up against with that specific adversary, and it tells you how to make it harder. Mm -hmm. um, in the rule book at the very back, there's also like a, a universal power rating that tells you how difficult your game is just based off of everything that's in play. Yep. And so even though we played a level two on this adversary, according to that universal rating, we're playing a level four, four of overall, overall of, out four of out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> so this gameplay experience that we had was not even half I think we're oh, chickens. Difficulty? We're chickens. I think we, we gotta, yeah, we gotta play like a level five. I think we're cautious. We're gonna go yeah, with cautious, cautious, yeah. But but now I feel like we're ready to, to move on to yes. a harder one, yes. right? Yeah, because we don't have a, like a super like in-depth experience. Like it's not like we've played this 20 times or anything like that. No, but, uh, no, but no. We, yeah, we haven't it. played it as many times as other people who yes. really, really um, mastered this game, right? Exactly, yeah. And the first time we ever played it, when we were preparing for the first playthrough almost a year ago, 
we felt like this game was impossible to beat. Like it was so hard. Well, right? definitely your first play, you're gonna get swallowed up most yeah. likely, unless you have somebody else that that can just see it for some reason. Um, that that conveyor belt of ravage, build, and explore is just it, your first game. We we got pummeled like just real bad. <laughs> like, I don't think we made it halfway through. Yeah, yeah. So um, th yeah, that, that's very very challenging. But this is one of those games that uh, the asymmetry, the um, the ability to kind of uh, forward plan with your teammates, uh, and also to just get those synergies with the cards is just, yeah. it's just fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. And the, the the spirits that we played today are uh, medium complexity. So when we played in the last the last playthrough, they were both the lowest complexity. Like mm -hmm. you. First time you're playing this game, play as these spirits kind of deal. Yep. If you want to bump up your game, these two are a great uh, synergy, especially if you're playing a two-player game. Yeah. Because the Thunder Speaker, besides being super cool, mm -hmm. the Thunder Speaker spirit is so awesome. The way that you can just strategize with the Dahan and move them around, yeah, move the yourself around. Yeah. I have not really, I'm not really, uh, I wouldn't consider myself really good at using the spirit yet because there's definitely a strategy in where you place your presence that has a really big impact in future planning. Yeah. That yeah. I don't have that down yet. Right. But uh, the the Thunder Speaker is very offense, and then the the spread of Rampant Green is very Very defense. defensive. Yeah, I think the so, backside is like all Super defense. good. Super. Yep. It's all defense. It's like maxed <laughs> out. And then the Fear is actually, it's it's least, uh, it's least, um, I guess, like generating, yeah, power. But, yeah, both uh, of us. Both of us, both of these uh, spirits are kind of like low on the fear bar in terms of how, and, and that was really evident in the way that we were playing. Like early, in the on, early yeah. on, it was really, really hard to gain, to gain that fear train going. But as you gain more of these minor and major powers, that can then now alter mm -hmm. it, which I like because then it's like, well, I'm not stuck in this like no fear game because you got to get to, you got to get that fear going so that you, you can make your victory condition uh, possible. Because if not, you know, if the, if the fear deck is just stacked, and you're still on terror level one or two, it, it gets very you're difficult to clear them off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, terror level one, you need to remove every Everything. single piece. Not happening. Have you ever done that? Anybody uh, out there? Please let us know. Because if so, I don't, is that possible? I don't know if is that's it impossible? possible. Yeah. Does somebody run the numbers on that? Because that, that seems like you have to. Improbable. I, yeah, I don't know how that would be possible. When practice, what is it? When uh, opportunity meets preparation or something? something. like that. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Even, even terror level two is hard to get rid of these towns. I know like, that that's doable. It's doable. But hard. It's hard, yeah. But doable, yeah. For us, it's always been getting to target level three and eliminating cities, or getting to the very end of that fear deck. Yeah, we almost did it today. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed this this uh, intermediate, mm -hmm. I guess, Play? playthrough. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe in the future. I don't. Hopefully not in another year. But maybe we'll do an advance. I would love to check out the expansions for this game because I, I hear that they are really to look good. At them, yeah. And our folded space insert by the way uh is is fantastic and it has space for the the next expansion yeah there's so, some empty spaces so i assume it's for that might as well make use of it right yeah so anyway that was spirit island our second time playing it we hope you enjoyed the video if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future please consider subscribing and thank you to our patreon community oh, yeah. for thank you on this video. appreciate it <laughs> bye, bye.